My laptop charger, where is it? How are you doing? How are you all doing? How are you doing this morning? Good morning. Um, right. Sim call Linda. I want to see something. I will take money. Bye bye. you're looking well thank you very much thank you guys thank you loving the diva smile my nandi thank you this is what happiness does self-love self-respect self everything selfishness self -centered. I was a savage. Why are you complaining now like you didn't know? Olinda, you are in love, and did see. I can guess the man. I'm in love with myself. Listen, don't, don't you know some of this stuff? You need to understand something. Loving yourself, being in love with you, being in love with who you are, is it gives you some type of inner peace. Auntie dressing like low people. I'm a law student. Don't forget that. I'm a law student. So I got, um, I'm, I'm, I'm practicing. But yeah, um, being in love with yourself, being in love with who you are, being in love with the person that you are and the space you're in just gives you some type of inner peace. 
I do not have to smile. I do not have to glow. I do not have to be happy just because there's a man in my life. Yes, there are men. Many, 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 many men. Many, 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 many men that are in the DM. There are many, many, many. There were many. There are plenty. And this is a but get to a stage whereby you wake up it's lockdown it's coronavirus time and you dress up not to impress anybody but to make yourself feel good to do it for you you understand now that is a a different type of level of love yakuti pachatoneza because mr bezos balacha uya vakuda kuda kuni tengera ma private jet vachindi tengera ma island vachindi tengera chinja kwa the mr bezos you know what it takes a lot more than that to impress a woman like me cuz i already love myself way too much you know love myself way too much love myself way too much so it's that type of self love i think our society has got this idea that you have to be married you have to be in a relationship to to look some type of way to be some type of way to it's actually very okay to be single it's actually very okay to not want to be in a relationship it's actually very okay especially for somebody like myself that's been through hell and back to decide listen i'm going to be selective i'm going to be very 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 selective that even before uh, somebody tastes the cookie you just can't get to the cookie jar just like that no 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 not not in 2020 like listen babe i'm risking my life literally by going to the makeup shop to buy this makeup or going to the shop to buy a dress or what i'm literally risking my life with the coronavirus out there and it's it so come my picture and they want us they're nasty walk up and bust for myself that's what you guess that i need me to get a good morning i'll see I looked in the mirror. I was like, "Oh wow, you're beautiful! Wow, you're good looking! Oh my God, you deserve to be in in red bottoms today. You deserve to be wearing a nice dress. Get out of those trek bottoms. Get out of those, you know, pants that you wear at home. Get out of those ragged t-shirts, you know." Uh, so yeah, yeah, it's 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 one of those. It is actually, ladies, gentlemen, it is actually okay to be happy by yourself to actually make yourself happy it is i mean i can't explain i can't explain it i really can't you know so yeah it's called setting standards setting standards that's what we're doing and we're here to do Monday motivationals. We're talk, supposed to be talking about business, but as always, you know, um, Twitter Jamunoda Imim, hey man, Nandi, you are glowing girl. Thank you. Twitter Jamunoda Imim. Now, let me tell you something. I hate to say this, but Anna Mama Vedu were right. Growing up, Jain Zimunwechikadzi, 
Muka Uchigeza. We didn't understand the method then because we thought they were doing it for their husbands. They were doing it for other people. But now come 2020, come 2021, you do it for yourself. Wake up in the morning in this coronavirus, right? Have a shower. Spend a good half an hour to an hour in the shower. Lather yourself. Let's just say this is the scrub. As if you're doing it to, a, to your bay, but doing it to yourself. Lather yourself up in that shower gel or whatever it is. Telling yourself that, you know what? You deserve this kind of touch. You deserve this kind of tenderness. And it do that. Get out of your shower. I know it's coronavirus time. It's lockdown time. Get out of your shower. Sit in front of your mirror. Take time with that, those eyebrows. My eyebrows. Then what other lipstick here could get your lipstick girlfriend? Once you do, it's called self love. It's giving you that time. It's giving you that space. It's giving you love, right? You don't need to be loved by a third party. That is just a bonus. That is just a bonus. You can do it by yourself. And in my road to recovery in my road to taking care of myself my standards have changed so badly so badly that i i feel sorry for the next man that's gonna come in my life because it will take a whole lot of i don't know to even go on a date with me you understand so dress up zip yourself up Get your shoes out that wardrobe. Put on your shoes. Put on your jewelry. Put on your sunglasses. Do whatever. Take care of you. Right? I've been in a relationship with myself for 36 years. And 35 out of the 36, I've been very abusive to myself. And I've been in a domestic violent relationship with myself. A domestic abuse relationship with myself for a good 35 plus years. Right? I've been abusing myself. I've been abusing myself by allowing the negative. I've been abusing myself by allowing my standards angle to be degraded. I've been, I've been abusive to me. I've been in a level of domestic abuse with myself. I'm not even going to blame a third party because the way a third party loved me was only because of how much I allowed them. I allowed them to love me in a certain type of way. I agreed to be uh, to be loved in a certain type of way. So now I'm out here saying, listen, nah, not those, not those levels, not those levels. Levels have to be a little bit higher. So if you have come out of a relationship, come out of a marriage, come out of something, take your time. Rediscover yourself because you're definitely not who you were when you were 15. You're definitely not who you were when you were 21. You are definitely not who you were when you were 30. And you're definitely not who you were from last year. So, yeah. That's it. So, I just came on here just to say, hey, guys, how are you guys doing? Tom Betaka Motivational Monday, Treta Jebasa, and whatnot, whatnot. And just... yourselves love yourselves and be beautiful monday motivational and is it look good learn from my mistakes and learn from my corrections thank you thank you thank you thank you so much have a great monday
unfortunately business wise this morning i don't have much to talk about because i've got my own stuff i need to be catching up on this morning i've got loads and loads and loads to catch up on so uh please be patient with me uh we will resume monday motivational next week because this past week i've been doing a lot of ocf work i am knackered i am tired i am all sorts um i no longer have nails so i'm struggling i'm struggling with that self-love yeah yeah you know um so yeah uh, i will catch up with you guys soon stay beautiful i love you guys have a great monday morning do not forget to catch up on your on your work that you so you guys are supposed to be rebranding you're supposed to be looking at your websites you're supposed to be doing a lot you're supposed to just you know keep busy there's a lot of free courses going on out there google oxford university cambridge harvard they're offering so many free courses that you guys could be engaging in um unfortunately i'm not in a position to be doing free courses at the moment because i already have a course that i started i'm almost finishing my first year um as a law student so uh by october i'll be done that or halfway with the first year then you know i've got a lot of that going on so on top of having the um the ocf i also have school and then i also have businesses to to run and to work i launched the nandi's veggie box i hope you guys know about that one nandi's veggie box uh, we're also doing food hampers we're doing a um chickens we're doing it's at your online grocery store in other words nandi has become a ceo at the age of one it's her trust fund so mommy set up a little business for her trust fund and um i've invested some money in it so that she can have something by the time she's 18 or 21 she's got something that's been running for the last 18 or 21 years so it's nandi's online store and she will be introducing um frozen foods and baby food as well it's organic period baby food in zimbabwe so that is nandi's online store uh my nandi check your dm i try to check my dm but every morning i come i wake up with hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of messages so please be patient with me and uh we're trying to work through of your cases that you guys have brought to us what we have done is we've got a team of social workers they've got a list of the people they need to be getting in touch with in, in regards to um the aid that we're currently uh you know the chief providing so you guys have to be extremely extremely patient with me when it comes to that but with that being said uh i how is jaden feeling jaden has fully recovered he's well thank you for asking noma uh you look beautiful thank you for i i appreciate that um so you guys just keep keep on my wall that's where everything happens it's all on there uh and a big shout out to everybody that's involved in philanthropy work at the moment during this COVID-19 uh, scenario because it's not a situation that anyone anticipated. It's not a situation that anybody wanted for themselves, but everybody has, I've seen a lot of philanthropy work. It's a lot of inspiring work that is going on out there. Uh, and people are reaching out, people are speaking to their communities, people are doing so much. And you know what? A round of applause to you guys. You are absolutely, absolutely amazing. And we appreciate you for the things that you're currently doing. Um, and well done on almost completing your first year as a law student. I know, two years, ten, three years time, Jill. Then I will have a graduation party. You guys will have to throw me an amazing, amazing big graduation party. The reason why I I decided to finish my law degree um, a couple of years ago, I started on, on on a law journey. But what I did was I went and I did particular model uh, modules to complement the business side of me so i did things like contract law and all that but i never fully finished it to degree level so now i am finishing my law degree so that hopefully when i do complete it and i do become a fully registered solicitor for for anything i'll be able to work as a pro bono solicitor helping other people uh, my law degree is not for for my personal gain it is so that I can provide aid, as much legal aid or as much pro bono work that I possibly can out there. Because you know me, I'm a businesswoman. I can't do a nine to five for someone else. I prefer being self-employed, but I would love to use those skills and help as many 
women and children because the constitution of the Olinda Chapel Foundation is the welfare of women and children. Um, that's what we uh, we advocate for. So, yeah, Saka Pandino graduated because it graduation party because it is me graduating so that I could provide a service to as many as I possibly can. Uh, and the chapel, thanks for unblocking me uh, and then behave yourself, Miriam. I'm going to say so. Yeah, that is it, guys. For the OCF to continue running, um, as much as you know, we are self funded, uh, we also take donations because uh, the, the more the merrier, the more we, we get, the, the more we are able to reach out. As of this week, um, we this Monday morning, I was still asleep, but my team was working hard. Um, we delivered 10 bags of of Wufu to Victor Kazembe. He feeds young children, yeah, like um, street kids, uh, Palais Brown, every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So they were only doing it three days a week. He was only able to, you know, to, to, to feed these street kids, over 50 of them, three days a week. So the Olinda Chapel Foundation has actually stepped in, and we are now feeding them seven days a week. So we have now taken over the other four days to make sure that these kids are fed seven days a week not just three not three out of seven so actually seven days a week um they normally use 30 kgs of wufu a day my vegetables and whatnot whatnot so if there are any volunteers that are willing to go and help him cook if there are any volunteers that are willing to to help out with all of this um and all that because it's COVID 19 time so these kids need to really really be showering as much as they can and with with soap um so that's what we have done over the weekend you guys saw us right and um asking for what you call this um not asking but actually delivering door to door we were we were supporting anagogo you know so that's what we were doing we went and we distributed bags and bags of milli meal so we try to make this on a regular basis so if you guys please come and support us go on to our page five pounds ten pounds two pounds you know two pounds three pounds that will buy a bag of milli meal for someone to feed for at least two weeks right so guys come and join us if you are not happy joining the only the chapel foundation because for some reason i rub you the wrong way or you just do not like me or i don't know you don't like the color of my skin but you prefer working with ningi down the road philanthropy work is philanthropy work we do not care which organization you're with but the fact is as long as van Basrikana. so go and find a team a community team that you could join go and find um like uh, pokello is doing some stuff go to pokello's page hell uh, you could join her hands with her um and Lloyd Giro, they are doing Anna Papa Loza, they're also doing some stuff. Go and join hands with them. There's so many people that are doing so much. Nash Paints is doing so much. Econet is doing so much. Find an organization that you feel like you fit in well. You fit in well with and go and work with them and provide as much service. Let that um let me not be the reason why you do not want to do any charity work because it's the OCF. You can still provide some service. You can still provide some work. You can still, uh, you can still go and and just go and deal with somebody, speak with somebody, go and join an organization that you feel you're best suited with, right? Uh, with that being said, uh, uh, I Gore, I'm not here to be answering questions very very silly questions i do not think felistas hates me so i do not know if she does not like me does not mean because she hates me hate is a very very strong word so i will not be engaging in any of that at all this page is not about that uh, the best person that can answer that question for you if that is your opinion is felistas watch or go to felistas and ask her that question do not address me and ask me such a question because i am not there to be feeding you with answers and it's okay right so please do not come with such questions on my platform because i am not here 
to engage with that. I'm a very, very busy person that has got so many things to be doing. I am running the Olinda Chapel Foundation. I'm now running Nandi's Veggie Box. I've got um, Gain Healthcare to take care of. I've got Olinda Chapel Cosmetics to take care of. I've got Olinda Chapel Limited to take care of. I've got schoolwork to take care of. And I've got three kids to look after. So to be honest with you, to be engaging in such conversations, let this be the first and the last. Go and ask the person that probably has got the best answer for you because I can't answer your question. Moving on. With that being said, so guys, go and join as many people as you can. Engage in as much charity work as you possibly can. As long as this aid is reaching the right people, as long as this aid is reaching Vanuvarikunze Ukuku, that's fine. Guys, if you've got anyone, Wamurku Ziva, that's on their deathbed, somebody that is not in a good place, please can you come into um can you please come into my inbox you know yesterday we, we received a case of a child that was suffering from malnutrition ocf sent some money and when we sent the money it was a case of too little too late because the child passed away this morning and it breaks my heart that a child is dying because a child is dying because of lack of food you know um that should not be happening in zimbabwe in 2021 that should not be happening in zimbabwe in 2021 uh and well done girl dressed like an advocate i am an advocate irene not professionally but i'm an advocate for women i'm an advocate for for young girls i'm an advocate for anyone that's not in a good social welfare state i am an advocate for those people i speak for them i represent them i i, I try and bring out their issues to the public so that you the public you the public make it possible so that you guys can play a part so that you guys can come and involve yourselves in everything that we do right so it is so important. I, I appreciate you. I appreciate everything that you do. I appreciate the messages in the inbox. I appreciate the love. I appreciate the donations. I appreciate the voluntary, you know, uh, vol vo the volunteers that are saying, you know, we're happy we're there. Olinda, tell us what to do. I am, I am so happy for those that are coming to me saying, you know what? I want to have my own OCF. How do I run my own my own OCF? And I give them advice in regards to that. So guys, please, 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 please do not feel the need that there is a red tape. Olinda Munuevan. I want you guys to understand that. Olinda Munuevanu. Olinda Munuenu. And it's again. I am here to offer my services. I am here to do as much as I possibly can. And I am enjoying it. I have never felt so alive like I have been in the last few months, being so actively involved in all of these cases and, you know, changing lives every day. So I am your, 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 your humble servant. I am a, why don't you call it government, a public employee, a voluntary work without a salary. So you guys come into my inbox. Let's discuss. Let's take it from there. Those with the WhatsApp number, you've got the WhatsApp number. Those that can donate on our fundraiser and let's do what we can. But guys, I need to get back to work. I've got quite a lot, quite a lot that I, I, I need to work on. So have a happy Monday and I will catch up with you soon. Good morning.